which is and we are in a totally new game. This is Manic Mansion 2, E of the Tentacle. So let's start a new game. Uh, no, I don't want comment. I'm doing that one. Hopefully. Mmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back... to the mansion! Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. 
If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Okay. Let's get going. We have all the things. Um, pick up here. Yeah. This is like the old old school game, but the uh, modern version. It's stuck to the floor. Basically, we have to do stuff. Uh, We can possibly open a closed doors and do stuff. Okay. Ooh. This bank book. Oh. Red. Not anything there. Oh. No idea what that is, but basically we have to. I have three just like it at home. Basically, we have to. That kind is too bulky to carry around all day. Yeah, take everything we can and there is always uh, something to do with them. I left my little black book at home. I don't have anyone to call. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. <laughs> Fred has them neatly arranged on the desk. I don't really want it. Can we open? Oh, there's a safe. Can we open the safe? I don't know the combination. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Okay. Can we use the paper? Out of order. I'd rather not mess with it. It might be booby trapped. I can't reach it up there. Okay. Do we have anything to? I can't reach it up there. Okay. Uh, yes, inventory. Nothing to use it with. I can't touch it, it's spiny. I can't touch it, it's spiny. A horticultural horror. Okay. Hmm. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Okay. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. <laughs> Yeah. Love these old games. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? <laughs> What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. I had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Oops. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! <laughs> Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge-o-magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! 
Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday. Through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children. The Chronogen. Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people <laughs> ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Oops. Well, I'll be. It worked. <laughs> well, Bernard, somebody float over here so sense. I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. <laughs> yeah. I know somebody who has phone boxes for that. I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It yeah. works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough! Uh-oh! <laughs> okay. Land it somewhere. Yeah, different place. Well, actually, I know one is in the future, one is in the past, and I think one is one is in the present. Cheap mail order jewels. <laughs> what happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, yeah, boy. Worry. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one. Find plans. Step two, save world. Yeah. Step three, Easy. get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Let's get cracking. Corona John, toilet. Your toilet bit. What? Why would I want to flush that down the toilet? <laughs> okay. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! Yeah. There, it's off. But it's too late now. I've got the plans! Quick! We have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? <laughs> My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet! No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello?
Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want, I want you to, to pick, pick up those plans, plans you see in the chronogon, Hoagie. Bring, Bring them to Red Edison. Edison. He's my Ooh. great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to that do. Makes no you sense. need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogon. Okay, okay if you, if say, you say so, so Bernard. Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, yes. Well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass <laughs> out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for <laughs> me to save the world, I guess. Okay. There's nothing to get. <sighs> Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Well then, let's go down the path. It's totally covered with crud. We have a letter. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Okay. In the door and let's go in. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine. Ah. All mine. If only we had some nasty weather. Yeah. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Later, dude. That would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. Detector. <laughs> hmm, okay. Much. Oh. They are making the constitution. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. Okay. Nothing to use that bit. Oh, Not sure what we are going to do with that one, but we shall take the Okay, we have water bucket. Let's go and see what else we can find in here.
Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Okay, not... Oh. Something in the cart. Oh. Uh -huh. Aha! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram! They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. Okay. We can push that one and pull that one, but is there anything else we can... Mm, probably not. We. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Haha, <laughs> got it. Next door. Let's see what we can... I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather <laughs> bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. I don't sure want about that. I know that already. I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket. Who asked you to? <laughs> I don't understand that technical stuff. You don't have to. I don't understand that technical stuff. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Okay. Uh. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Oh, I'd only mess it up. <laughs> A horse. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Uh, hi, horsey. <laughs> oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been <laughs> snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. <laughs> well, I gotta go. <laughs> See you later. For what? Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. Mm, can we push I don't want to touch it. I think we have to get his teeth. No idea well, how. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? 
I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. <laughs> Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes <laughs> off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Ooh. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. How nice for you. How yeah. nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. How nice for everybody. Well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. We better learn. I think we have to change the... Hammer if we can actually find the one. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to end this one here and we should continue next time with this awesome game and uh well we'll just have to see what happens next time. So <laughs> I will see you all then. Until then. Bye. <laughs>